then you can probably pick up the accent and you can pick oh, up yeah. the way the people speak. But after 14, once you're like 16, 18 or older, then you would not be able to like copy the exact accent. You may not be able to speak no, like those who are actually living there. That's absolutely so, nonsense. I mean, in general, in general. Well, yeah, no, I, I mean in general as well. I, the, the standard perspective is that there might be some people after a certain age who can master it, but most people can't. Mm -hmm. My perspective is the opposite. My perspective is that most people can, but some people might not be able to. One thing that needs to be very clearly understood by all learners of all languages um, is that you can't make the same exact judgments of, say, adults or of kids mm -hmm. based mm -hmm. on kids or adults. You know, mm -hmm. like you, you can't necessarily judge them. Now, um, there are some things that are very similar, like potentially you can absorb the grammar of a language even as an adult, given the right exposure mm -hmm. and time, right? It's a very slow way. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, and if you, but if you set up the right conditions, like if you move to a country that speaks the language, you only listen to that and you really pay attention to what's going on around you, you can potentially just absorb mm -hmm. the grammar. Um, but that's not the best way as yeah. an adult because you have logic, you have consciousness, right? And the benefit, especially for pronunciation, the benefit that uh, children have, the brain is still forming, right? Um, and yeah. the human brain is designed to pick up language of some sort, right? Whether that's sign language or whatever. But um, mm -hmm. once you reach a certain age, right, the, the people who have so-called talent in language like me, my theory, which I guess somebody would have to put me through a machine to, to see, but my theory is that the people who are naturally talented at the pronunciation of, of, of learning languages, um, the brain didn't prune all the connections that the average person brain does uh, for for perceiving sounds and stuff um, and so okay they still sort of still have some of those connections that they had as a baby but you can still develop the same pathways and connections through direct practice and conscious focus you know it's going to maybe take a little more time but it's perfectly possible for the average person um, but that's the whole thing where children can absorb it adults have the mm -hmm. benefit of being able to consciously focus their attention and direct their their perception and use things like minimal pairs to actually develop the things where children don't have to do that. That's the, one of the good things about being mm -hmm. a child. But it, it doesn't mean that the pathway is closed. It just means that you can't use the same method that children did just trying to absorb the pronunciation. It's not going to work, right? Oh, um, yeah. And so... Yes, vowel charts are approximate. They're not perfect tools, right? But that's why you have to focus on feeling your tongue, focus on hearing the difference between sounds, focus, mm -hmm. and you know, consciously direct your attention to these things. Um, and given the time, given the right techniques, and uh, given enough consistency, right, enough intensity, mm -hmm. right, the, the, the water has to boil in the pot, right? You need enough heat to boil yeah. water. I believe that the average person... If they want, it is a lot of work, but the average person, if they put in that work and they really want it, they can mm -hmm. sound exactly like a native or extremely, extremely close to where it's, it's hard to notice.